You're tired from this place at the end of the month? Of course, I will miss telling stories about the amazing people who call the Tri-State home. Well, I miss waking up before sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horse of a different color. <laughs> Speaking of horses, uh, this week we look back at a story I did on the Kentucky Horse Park in 1999. The Kentucky Horse Park is a living postcard. Fences frame horses in rolling pastures that seem to go on forever. The park itself is designed to entertain folks that come to Kentucky that want to know about Kentucky's best known product, which is, of course, the horse. Jabati says the park is recreational and educational. There's a museum here that traces millions of years of the horse from its prehistoric predecessors to the work animal and its bond with man. There are more than 40 breeds of horses kept on the farm, and visitors learn about them too. Some of the horses run through their paces in a parade of breeds, and many more are just a fence away. Some of the real stars of the park are brought out to park patrons. In addition to the many types of breeds that you can see here at the horse park, some of the true luminaries of horse racing are also here. For example, this is Bold Forbes, the winner of the Kentucky Derby in 1976. And Bold Forbes makes his home here. You can be within five feet of a racing legend, take photos, hear a little bit about their personalities, their racing careers, and get an up-close uh, look at them, where before it was either at a track or it was on TV, and uh, they've made them uh, very human in this aspect that they have many, many fans come see them. It's not just the racing stars that get up close and personal. The young ones are inquisitive, a tad too much at times. It's not everywhere you can be nuzzled by a mule. It's the total equine experience here. John Lomax, 12 News. You know what strikes me about that? The Kentucky Horse Park has not changed much not, since not, you were there for that trip. Not, and it's one of those kind of places, if you travel up and down I-75 through Lexington, and my hometown is Knoxville, Tennessee, so I travel mm. by it so many times. It's so pretty. I, keep, I, I said, it's so beautiful, but it never occurred to me to, to go there. Didn't, that, why not do a right. story mm -hmm. about it? And it is, it's, it's worth the trip, and it still is worth the trip. I love it there. Yeah. We were just saying, I can't believe. I know, as a horse, horse, animals, as a horse lover, I haven't been there, but yeah. I need to go. There's so many good Put places. Put it on the list. Didn't you yeah. say you were looking for staycation ideas? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's another one. Okay.